Over the next few days, we will be in Osaka, Japan. Known as the Kitchen of Japan, it blends ancient traditions and modern innovation. We will be visiting historical landmarks, having so much fun at Super Nintendo World, and eating our way through Danton Border Street. The real reason that we wanted to come to Universal in Japan, <laughs> well, fine, not we, it's more of a me, I guess, you're about to see, and I hope this is as impressive as I thought it would be. Super Nintendo World offers an opportunity to participate in like this interactive gaming experience that brings the magic of childhood to life. If you are into Super Nintendo, this is a great place to visit. With the power up bands, you can collect virtual coins, you find hidden surprises, and engage in challenges throughout the park. And we recommend that you download the Universal Japan app so that you can sync your band to your phone and you can keep track of your progress, you know, earn some more points and compete with each other like Sean and I are doing throughout this video. <laughs> That's why we are so enthusiastically punching these boxes so that one of us is the champion and wins all the points. One of the greatest rides here in Super Nintendo World is this Mario Kart ride. But a little bit of warning, the line gets really long. We waited around two hours to ride the ride. So so we would suggest that you go there first when you first get there or you get a fast pass so that you can skip the line. We're so happy that we made time to come to Super Nintendo World. It really brought us so much joy and just childhood nostalgia. 
It's the next day and we are in the iconic Danton Bori neighborhood. And here you'll find the infamous large and moving signs. You'll find what seems like endless amount of shopping opportunities. And of course, delicious street food like takoyaki, okonomiyaki, fresh food grilled seafood. Oh, and I can't forget the famous Glyco Running Man. If you know why he's famous, comment below. Ice cream soda thingy. 
chairs. Cheers. Tastes like orange juice. That's good. Tastes like a blue white, whatever that is. It's really sweet. I think I got all the syrup on the bottom. Shonen Jump is the magazine that has a collection of the best shonen anime. So Jump, in this sense, is referencing Shonen Jump with all the manga and anime characters here represented in Shonen. The My Hero Academia, and that's Luffy for One Piece. What's so special about that? I think it's a collection of JoJo books. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So funny. Uh, this, this guy wears all green, just like you're wearing. He wears green, a green top with long sleeves and green shorts. So? You can't see any of it. So? And that's what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> all of these are in Japanese, so Sean would not be getting any. like 30 minutes in our hotel. And then we took a cab, an Uber actually. So Uber works in Japan. And then we took an Uber to Osaka Castle, which is so interesting because it's literally like, if you pan that way, you'll see big, big buildings. <laughs> like it's still in the middle of the city, but it's a castle. It's probably beautiful. Look at these trees. I wonder what they're called. It's so pretty. It kind like of reminds me of like bigger bonsai trees. Tree. Yeah. Like is, is it a bonsai tree? Or do bonsai trees grow that large? Ooh. Singen Yagura Terrace. Nabunaga Oda invaded the Osaka. All these signs that point the right way. Uh, Osaka Castle main tower is that way. I don't know what that building is, but it is pretty. Osaka Castle called Sakura Mon, which means cherry gate. It's interesting because I'm like, they keep talking about these stones, but these are the stones. There's like stores and stuff in here. <laughs> That's cool. They commercialized it, Commercial. commercialized the castle. There's a huge mall, <laughs> restaurants, shops. 
Maybe every dollar goes towards maintaining the castle. Good manners, good castle. Site of Palace of Hammer. Mm, pretty. Ooh. Time capsule. Ooh. I've, ne I've never heard of this. 2,000 cultural assets of the 20th century, whatever, I mean, your cell phone. That's what they put in there. We made it to Osaka Castle, but what you should learn from us is that you need to get here early because it is 4.30 and the castle closes at 5. So they just stopped close. They just uh, closed the line to get into the Osaka Castle. So we can't go in, but uh, we're on the property. I mean, Osaka Castle was constructed in 1586 by the warlord uh, and ruler of all of Japan as a symbol of power. And it kind of united all of the uh, factions within uh, Japan and they used it as a base to basically take out the the other warlords that were against them from the far off parishes. This concludes our trip to Osaka Castle. We went to the souvenir shop and we got some souvenirs. Some of them were anime related, some of them were traditional Japan related. But they were pretty good prices for a souvenir shop. And if you don't want to spend the money to go inside Osaka Castle, it's a great free activity to do in Osaka. Yep. All right, on to the next thing. Oh, look at these. Oh, I want a Tamagotchi. I've lost Sean in this store. <laughs> Where is he? Is he around this corner? No. Nope. Is he around this corner? Nope. Where's Sean? Nope. Dude. Oh, found him. They got the Super Famicom. <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, you know, like, the Super Nintendo? There's, like, Japanese versus Famicom. Family computer. Take like, a Mega Drive. I would. A game store? Sega Saturn? Uh, yeah. You see a Nintendo 64 over here? <laughs> and a GameCube. In all different colors. <laughs> but Super Famicom. <laughs> and the family computer. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, how much is it? It's not never... even that expensive. This is a steering wheel. But, but I think it's a steering wheel. It's for Sega. I remember that Sega. steering wheel. Oh, you do? Yeah, Papa yeah. used to play it. No, that's someone sent him a picture. <laughs> Hold on. I, should I can't picture. stop looking around. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, yeah, this is the long piece. I think you play that with Duck Hunt. Or... Yeah, I think that's what I remember. Oh, look at that freezer. That's badass. Osaka has a perfect blend of traditional and modern elements. So whether you're a food lover, a history enthusiast, a gamer, there really is something for everyone. And we definitely hope to come back soon.
So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, let us know if you've been to Osaka, if you want to go to Osaka, and stay tuned for more of our travel adventures. Next time, we'll be in Hiroshima. See you then.